push you up. I don't know why my cat is like staring at my screen. My cat's like an inch away from my screen. I can barely see half of it, but I guess he's doing okay. Okay, these guys have got to stop running forward. It's over. It's over. Ooh, there's that. There's the 340 mil millimeter gun strikes. This might be what we needed. We destroyed a half track with that. This is it. I think this is it. Although half of my guys are now currently uh, not able to fight because they're retreating. Oh, still more. Oh, that is some huge artillery. There we go, boys. All right. Howdy, boyos. Welcome back to Steel Division 2. I've actually been on an insane Steel Division 2 grind lately. Vulcan and I made three videos uh, fighting the hardest level of AI possible in some historical missions. I actually uploaded one of those videos, but there's some more to come. Then Davidson, Barry, and I started a new and fresh released Army General co-op campaign, though well, it seems like that's a little bit bugged right now. But we'll be definitely getting back to that whenever, uh, you know, I hear about it being a little bit less buggy. And then also, together with the Armored General Co-op campaign update, came out the Toulon uh, Nemesis DLC, which sees uh, the Defense Bereich Toulon, which is a, a, a unit consisting of uh, German, Italian, and uh, another just mix match of a bunch of other uh, equipment and units going up against the first free French army. So here today we have a 4v4 with four AI versus four, well, three AI and myself. Uh, all the AI are playing as the new French division. I myself and all my AI are playing as the new German division. Um, this is a success. I'll definitely check out the reverse where we'll play as the, um, as the French versus this German unit. Now I'm using this map again, mostly because it kind of resembles, in my opinion, the, the area where this, these divisions really fought, which was uh, for, uh, well, Festung Tonlon. Um, I believe um, your boy Adolf, to not name his, uh, his, his last name, uh, basically gave the commanders of all these uh, coastal cities where the Kriegsmarine operated out of in France the order to turn them into Festungs, which basically meant you cannot surrender, fight till the death, and, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes for you. So, uh, Brest was, I think, one of these, and Toulon is another one. And in Toulon, it's interesting because you have such an interesting mix of units. We have some KM Pioneers with MP28s and Panzerschrecks. We have Landeschütze with Carcano, or Italian rifles with French machine guns. But then we also have Kriegsmarine Boat Besatzung, which are fanatics, so they are, are not going to surrender, I believe. They are coming with three machine guns, five SMGs, five Car 98s, and these are basically like uh, submarine units whose boats were run out of fuel or they couldn't leave the harbor because they were blocked. So they picked up guns and they fought the French. We have a uh, Kriegsmarine Marina Infantry. They're uh, here armed with a very old machine gun from World War One. They have Haftholadungen. They carry some of these MP28s, but they're a pretty big squad. Uh, we also have Italian units here with Beretta SMGs and a lot of Molotov cocktails. We have French uh, stolen tanks. Uh, we have again MG08s. There's a lot of just interesting equipment. We have uh, stuff like this tiny Italian mountain gun, but we also have Pac 4388s. And probably my favorite right here is this Flak 105. That is a 105 millimeter anti aircraft and anti tank gun, which I'm definitely going to try and put to some good use here today. Now I do need to take a second here and go back to the regular speed, which kind of makes it look like we're, okay, he already, okay, I should have had him to hold fire. Oh God, that's a lot of danger there. Okay, so let's take a look. We air, oh, we have some interesting air stuff too. We have, uh, I figured we could go phase A, go immediately for a heavy bomber with two uh, 500 kilogram bombs. It's on a JU-88. It's a little slow, uh, but I'm thinking it, this might actually cause some uh, some interesting uh, heavy damage on anyone that wants to come close uh, to these bombs. And then later on, we also get ourselves a Tonier 217, uh, a little faster than the JU-88, but with smaller bombs. Well, a lot 
of bombs, but a lot smaller ones. And then we also have some Panzerblitz rockets underneath this Focke-Wulf 190. I'm not relying on any fighter-based air because I got all these anti-air units, including this one right here, which I think is really interesting to take a look at in Phase B. It's a twin 37 millimeter. It's in a very weird, uh, like, vertical orientation where the both the 37 millimeter barrels are on top of each other instead of uh, next to each other. But I know we'll we'll take a look at that in uh, in due time. In the meantime, I guess we'll start moving around some stuff here. Do want to support my allies here on the left. Okay, maybe don't use a Panzer Shrek against a freaking motorbike. What's the range on the Panzer Shrek? Oh no, bro, bro, that's not good. Oh, there's a uh, there's a an ace in the in the game here. Okay, need to get you out of here. Okay, and then we do have this French gun. So we'll move you up. Now these guys are not doing so hot. So we can move all of our. I have a bunch of units back here that are kind of just like not far up ahead. I should have pushed those guys up further, I guess. Stugführer. I've gone for the uh, income where I get my income later on in the game because I've got a lot of face C units. Um, I guess what should take you off? Okay. Another one of those elite units here. So there should be four of those aces in this battle because we are using the same division four times. Uh, we can put you on hold fire. Move you up a little bit. We don't want these BIMP guys to run in here. They have Panzer Shreks. They're fully equipped with uh, American weapons, as you can see. I don't know what the P-17 is. That actually, that actually might not be a... That might be like a French rifle, but obviously, well, I guess we got American Bren. We got a. Oh, wow, well, we lost the sharp shoots up back here. Oh, get out. Okay, get in the building here. Kind of waiting for us to hopefully be able to engage this uh, Stuart. Okay, we're now engaging. We have a Breda, which is marked an MG-099. Never heard of that before. I guess it's just a German designation uh, for uh, for the Breda machine gun. Push this up to here. Okay, we are getting absolutely destroyed back here. Um, like, just not even funny. But no, those sidecars all carry machine guns. Those hurt a lot. They're not doing so good. I need this, uh, okay, here we go, aiming, okay, that's a bounce, it's only a 47 millimeter gun, you'd assume, what's the penetration on this thing, 55 mils, oh, it's not enough, okay, we're gonna need some of our artillery to start hitting some stuff here, we are getting pushed back very hard right now. Uh, get some pioneers to come into this town in the back. Okay, we're gonna need these artillery to hit those. It's really the motorbikes with the MGs that are hurting us real bad right now. Fall back more. On the ooh, that was a good hit on those BIMP. Perhaps we could Q move them forward. We lost one of those uh, grenadier units. Fall them back more. I mean, that's a lot of uh, a lot of very bad. I mean, there's a couple of Stewarts in there for sure. Yeah, but. A lot of not very good equipped units coming in as well. We'll get one of these RSOs. I only have one, but it's an elite one. And the goal there would be clearly to um, to use that. Uh, if we push these two up. To use that to flank those stewards. Okay, let's Q move them off the road. Panzer Jaeger is ready. Okay, uh, well, hopefully this does something for me here. Maybe shoot the... Oh, we have a 1919 armed by French Foreign Legion over here. We're just blasting off. Now, I did uh, I did do a cinematic video a little while ago, and uh, you guys really seem to enjoy that. Um, I actually am thinking about doing some more of those again. Okay, this is really bad. Uh, but um, it's just not something that... I have written down for myself to do right now, but it's it's in the it's in my list of stuff to do later. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys are interested in that because I had a lot of fun playing that, and in general, it seemed or making that video, and in general, it seemed like you guys uh, were were fans of that. So um, I know people have been asking for me to do more of those, and the general idea is yes, there is more of that coming. 
Okay, we're gonna have to figure out a way to deal with this B. Oh, this thing, they're actually destroying my, uh, my French anti-aircraft gun. Oh, and they just outright destroyed it with two Bren guns. That was very brutal. Okay, we're gonna have to capture this area back here. Get a Panzer on the corner of the town here, plane right. Okay, what can we bomb? If we can knock out these three stewards, that would be fantastic. We have our, uh, <laughs> you know, German equipped, or I guess German uh, stolen, I should say, uh, French tanks. Luckily, our anti aircraft gun is doing. Oh, no, wait, they have one of their anti aircraft guns, actually, one of the 105s. Here comes the bombs. Hopefully, they are good. Nice. Two stewards down with one bombing run. That is actually really perfect. If I can somehow run my Pioneer with the Panzerschreck into one of those buildings, that would be fantastic news. Scharfschütze. Eh, we'll hold fire. Okay, RSO. On the corner. We have a bunch of machine guns deploying here. I wonder if this steward could be shot from the side here. And it's a pack 40. Hey, perfect. Okay, now let's not really worry too much about the HE we can do to these people. I mean, now our two Panzers, they lost like three of their, um, uh, they lost three. Oh crap, I lost some machine gun. They lost three of our stewards, so I'm hoping this causes enough damage. But the 105 is amazing at not so much killing the planes over there, but suppressing them like instantly. Look at that, one hit, one hit, and they're suppressed. It's not about killing them, it's all about the suppression here, which is doing a great job. Now, maybe this might be the time for me to try and use this time to send two grenadiers, the last two we have in this phase, as well as a machine gun uh, to the front left here and try to capture this town back. Now, we know they don't have any, uh, you know, great armor support anymore. Maybe we can push this town. We'll get ourselves a Pioneer to push in here, because Pioneer will be useful, I think, to hold this down. Get another machine gun here. I yeah, my sniper died there a while back. On the right side, our team is actually doing really good. We are a couple flags behind, though. Oh, we lost one of my, lost one of my Panzer 39s. That's not good. Okay, push up on the town here. Dude, I love those flax. They are just instantly destroying everything. Okay, that's the boat Bazatsung is just gonna do a suicide run, it looks like. Okay, we knocked out the partisan unit. There is a lot of artillery over here. Or uh, stuff to be artillery, I mean. Oh my god, it's just full of infantry. Okay, phase B. Artillery, we can get one of these French 149 millimeter guns, which would actually be a good idea, I think. So get one of those forward. Uh, we should get some of these Kusten Polizei to make sure my guys aren't uh, going into any uh, any retreats. Having those guys nearby basically allows your units or forces your units not to surrender or to eat or to retreat in the first place. That's a lot of stuff coming our way here. But flamethrowers. We can just get into this town. This guy's hit so hard. Okay, we got a, we got a couple flags back. Which is good. Getting artillery right now. Let's move the pioneers away into this forest on the right. It did go use our dark Baltaladungen, so there must have been some point where they were useful. Uh, Lijon is hitting these Landeschütze. Scharfschütze open. This guy should have a great time here. He should be able to knock these guys out with them getting able to get close. Get some more sar sharp shoots in here. Okay, maybe we need to watch out for that half track. Infantry, this is where we're starting to get our heavy... Uh, also, we got some suppressed recon units. I'm not sure how affected they're going to be in because they're suppressed. But, I mean, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Get some more armor. This is just a bunch of infantry that we can deal with. Uh, let's get ourselves a uh, Vlachtswilling on the middle right. Oh, good hit. Move these Panzers up. 
as well as this. Uh, Panzerjäger, okay, get a support truck out here. Okay, unload. Artillery. Let's figure out a way for you to be useful here. Perhaps this right here could be a good hit. It's a 149 millimeter gun. So this is it's stolen from the, from the uh, sorry not stolen. It's uh, acquired from the Italians. Uh, this little I here means Italianish. Uh, I think we've seen F for Französisch. Uh, there is uh, quite a few different ones too. There is um, E for English, or uh, I think that's how you say it in German, um, which would be like Bren carrier stuff like that that they acquired. Um, there are there, there's more. There's B for Belgian, uh, which means well Belgian uh, equipment. Um, I have not never seen a Dutch stolen equipment, but I'm assuming they have their own, uh, you know, their own letters for that. Uh, maybe like NL or I don't, I don't know. Actually, it's a very good question. I've never seen, like I said, I've never seen that before. So I'm actually not sure if there is even any Dutch equipment in the German army that was like used to a degree where they gave it their own name. Oh come on, that's so. That's they, they cannot do anything about the awesome suppression that's coming in here. By the way. Is that insane looking? Look at this thing. It's got two barrels. This is, these are both 37 millimeter guns. Absolutely nuts, if you ask me. Okay, we have got some legionnaires. They are being suppressed by my sharpshoots. Huh? Looks like we need a little bit more firepower there. Flakvierling here. And maybe another Flakvierling on the left. Okay, oh, we're doing our job now. We're pushing them out. Okay, pushed in over there. Armor, grenadier, push up. Sharpshoots, push up. Get this town secured. That would be great if we could. Okay, Flakzwilling. Uh, we'll park you right here behind this tree line. Put you in Q move. Maybe we'll even have you to set a counter battery so it will uh, automatically engage things that it sees, like artillery, in its range. It should be the entire map, so that's good. A little, although the further away, it, the less accurate it'll be, I think. Okay, move these guys just a little bit. And then I guess we'll set both of these to fire at will after. I don't know. If it, I guess we'll do. We'll keep this thing on. Nah, we'll do fire at will for these guys, <clears throat> and then these guys will also be at fire at will. At this point, I think it's not even a horrible idea for me to have that going on uh, on any target. Although it would be good to actually artillery that if possible. Okay, keep moving up, capturing the town back here slowly. On the middle left, we do have some. What is that? A recon Stewart, I think. It's got only got a 37 millimeter gun. That's not even that big. This guy just said something about, they said, become a marine, they said, it'll be fun, they said. I think that's what he said in German. That's a, that's a good one. Okay, knock on this dumb half track. Come on. Oh, there we go. That didn't take very long. Ooh, P-39. I wouldn't want to see this flux feeling. Look at that. Oh, that's brutal. Okay, lucky for that P-39 that my thing wasn't set up. We just lost a Panzer 39. I've been here uh, near the town. So far, so good. Don't really see a point in calling in this heavy thing. We might get this. Uh, might get one of these Pack 36, which I think are just Zis threes, or R for Russish, for Russian. Uh, hmm. We do have these interesting units that are Brandenburger, so they're like raiders, and you have this boat besatzung. Maybe I'll get some recon here on the left and see how far I can go. Black Veerling, deploy. Where's my last one? Where my last one went? Start pushing this down the road into this house, into this house. Perhaps we can push these guys up a little bit. I wonder, didn't I get another one? Or was it more left? I lost a unit. Here it is. 
This is going alright. Oh, that's going to be a bombing run from a Spitfire. I don't know if it's going to... Oh, that's going to go for my little ears. Oh, that was a good hit. Can't say much about that. We got another two and a half minutes for phase C. That's where I'm going to get a ton of my equipment. I even have called in the majority of my infantry. I mean, I could make this a really brutal push here. Oh, oh that was nuts. I could do uh, eight of these backed up by two Führers. And then we can just start running across here if I really wanted to. Get a stick feeder behind here. Infantry is pushing up. I'm going to need these... Uh, where, is this guy auto-firing? I know these guys are. This guy is not. Probably should have smoked this before I pushed in, eh? Oh, well. Yeah, that was kind of a, a bound to fail. Oh, they're going to get, yeah, massacred out here. Okay, we're going to need to bring pack 43. Unload you. I think we can set you here. Oh, here comes the Vlachtzwilling. Yeah, there it is. Blasting this 38 lightning. Or, oh, it's not a 38 lightning. No, it is a 38 lightning. No, it is. But it's called the F5B. Maybe that's the French designation for it. I think we destroyed it. I think we shot it down. Perfect job. It's going to buff our point, get our points a little bit at the end there. Make us look like we're better than we actually are. Uh, Pioneer's a little bit into trouble here. Oh, this is under trouble. Let's get you back. Okay, M.E.K., the guys that also come with an awesome little armored car, or a little machine gun car. So these guys have a Lafley with a 13.2 millimeter, I think, French machine gun. And they themselves have suppressed MP40s and a sniper, which is, I think, pretty freaking awesome. Let's see if we can hit that bow for us, though. Or the command unit here. That'd be a good hit, too. Now, where is my big boy over here? Is he on fire at will? No, but now he is. We'll put you on fire at will at the end of this road. That doesn't work. Okay, I was hoping we could do that, but it doesn't work that way. Plane left. All right, here we go. Charge the light brigade. <laughs> we push in. Oh, my J-88 got shot down. Did it get the bombs off? I don't think it did. That sucks. Okay, my M.E.K. is actually sniping that bow force unit. Another one down. Can we get another shot off? Okay, we got three shots, three kills. That's ho not horrible at all. This thing is going to get destroyed. Yeah, that was more of a throwaway than anything else. So it is on return fire for now. Can we engage that, please? Okay, see so if we can push this up to the building behind it. Lots of machine guns out here. Okay, air. This is what we need. They have this town very much secure. The amount of just... Oh, there goes another P... Uh, an F5. The amount of f uh, just elite, high-quality infantry they have in there is insane. I do have a secret weapon available. Oh, there's some heavy AA there, too. Oh, I might... Do not lose both of these Doniers, please. Oh, this front one isn't doing so hot. Luckily, they're fast. Oh, there was a nice little carpet bomb there. There's lots of pin down, lots of suppression. We have a secret weapon. This Beobachtungs, I think that's what it stands for, Arado, actually carries two small bombs, but that's not what it is about. It is an artillery observer for a, a ship gun. It is ship gun off-map artillery. So I want to get one of these guys on this tick. Uh, we'll call it in. Actually, let's call in the Panzerblitz on this. Oh, those guys were not doing so hot. They all retreated. Okay, that means uh, run away, I guess. Let's take a look at these Panzer Blitz. It should be able to knock out that Stewart. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. I thought it would fire its rockets and then evac, but it's going to get shot down. Oh, God. Oh, that is so lucky. Okay, get my Arado. And then we have... Uh, what do we have? We have... Fire for effect. I always, always like totally, never use the right one. I don't think, but I think what we want is precision, medium, intensity, high, large zone, waiting. 
Waiting. Boom. And get you out of there. That's okay. Now these guys are not going to do so hot. I don't know why they still pushed it. That was not my intention. Oh well, it's all right. <laughs> their uh, their goal is it to survive, I guess. Look at this a little flow plate though. It's heading back to base. We have another 25 seconds of time on target. Now we're getting a bunch of like, good infantry of this town on the right secured. I mean, if I can get my own good infantry in this town, this would be a completely different story. It's just getting them in there is the hard part. Push you up. I don't know why my cat is like staring at my screen. My cat's like an inch away from my screen. I can barely see half of it, but I guess he's doing okay. Okay, these guys have got to stop running forward. It's over. It's over. Ooh, there's that. There's the 340 mil millimeter gun strikes. This might be what we needed. We destroyed a half track with that. This is it. I think this is it. Although half of my guys are now currently uh, not able to fight because they're retreating. Oh, still more. Ooh, that is some huge artillery. There we go, boys. This is where I should have had the police, but I was too uh, too stupid to do that. Is my Arado ready to come back in for another strike? Oh, look at that amount of heavy anti-air coming in on that Spitfire, trying to bomb me. I don't think so. Infantry pushing up. Oh, the half infantry is just in a bad spot right now. Okay, Arado. I gotta look past my cat. So what is this? Fire for effect. Second run. A little back there. Arado, back to base. Yeah, these guys are all getting slaughtered out here. Oh, there's the guys driving up to the point. What the hell? Anti-tank. No, I don't need those. I need... I need someone who's 105s. That'd be cool. Okay. Here comes the artillery. 20 seconds. My infantry is made it into the town. If I could only get like some of these heavy elite infantry in there. KMP Amirs maybe. Artillery incoming. Two seconds. And that's gonna hurt. And it's not even so much about killing, it's about causing suppression with the heavy guns. That's okay. That was some friendly suppression there. It's all good, it's all good. Here's my Sturmgeschutzes. Okay, there's another Sturmgeschütze over here. Peter, push up. Fadriga shoots, push up. Panzerjäger, push up. This is our chance, I think, to make something out of this. Oh, we need another ammo truck here. Opal Blitz, get over there. Follow you back. Get you between those two guys. Flak 105, push up. Infantry, let's go. I don't know what we're waiting. Sniper, there's a bow force there we can't really get. Another one of these F8 fucker wolves. I mean, this is going all right. We're doing good. Oh, we got a Sherman. I got a bunch of Shermans over here, actually. I wonder how well protected those Shermans are. Probably relatively well. So, I mean, from an anti air standpoint, let's take a look at this. Here comes the Kugel or the Panzerblitz. Okay, well that wasn't great. Uh, I guess it's also getting shot up by 50 cals. I'm hoping we can get it out of there. Well, the blob of the blob of truth is here. I haven't even used all of my units yet. I have so much more infantry to call in. Look, 16 Landeschütze, 27k Marine infantry, 14 Maro, and then I have a bunch of these elite Brandenburger and KM Boat Besatzung. So we can even get some of those guys to show up here to really cause some harm now. Infantry is here, the Italian Maro are here. We pushed him out of the town, I think. I don't wanna, you know, give myself a, a compliment here, but I feel like my artillery definitely helped. Uh, get that done. We're gonna need something to deal with that bow force. We'll use the... Oh, that's a lot of tanks right here. Okay, there we go. Target secured and... Okay, selected. That's a lot of firepower there. Okay, that should have probably been more, more of an angle. That's okay though, because oh, they're getting those 50 cals can hit up high. To my surprise, those 50 cals are hitting a Donier probably flag at like I don't know, 
six, seven hundred meters. Probably way more than that. Well, that wasn't horrible. Could have been better. I guess now we just have this thing for its 50 kilogram bombs, so we'll use it for that. Any units that we can bomb? Oh, there's a lot of infantry here in the middle. Yeah, sure. We'll just send it out. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I lose it, I lose it. If I don't lose it, eh, actually, maybe we don't lose it because it'll look, it'll look stupid at the end screen, just having a bunch of losses for no reason. Our land shoots it. Oh, this, the FPS is severely dying here. Just the amount of units on the field over here. God, I can't even get these guys all in the town. I think the town's been just mostly demolished because of my heavy artillery bombardment. Although that was interesting, though. Anywhere? Anywhere? Okay, I thought that was actually pretty pretty well done. Did they change the voices on that guy? I think they did. Are, are those new sound? Are those new voices? Did we ever get our MEK out? No, they just died. Okay, artillery. We have this 152, which I think this looks like. Isn't that the howitzer you find on a KV-2? More MEK. Can get another one of these. Okay, we'll call them in on that artillery or on those tanks over here. Go for an anti-tank run as well. Sig, support, yes please. Okay, here comes my fucker wolf. That's so much 50 cal. Okay, that was really ineffective, kind of lame. Okay, get you out of there, plane. Can we make a game without losing a single aircraft? I, I think I said that before in a previous... Oh, that's... No, never mind. That, this Orado isn't going to survive. Oh, my God. It barely did. I can't believe we managed to get this secured. Like, this is awesome. Okay, here comes the uh, enemy Shermans. Guess what? <laughs> this is glorious. All right, artillery on this middle right side here. I have, a, I have a flat a pack. 43? Yes, please. What's the range? 2,000 meters. Here comes the artillery. Let's get down low. That's like four Shermans right here. Ooh. That was actually my artillery. That was the 340 and not killed three. Sh not killed all those Shermans. I want to take a look and see how many units I killed with that artillery later because we are just annihilating units with that artillery this game. Our Kriegsbodin Besatzung, I'm trying to get them into this forest over here. I don't know if that's friendly smoke. Looks like even enemy smoke. Panzerblitz. Can we get our... Okay, this might be worth trying. Oh, we don't have eyes on him right now. I want to see this tank again. If we're not going to get eyes on it, we can try and get an angled attack. I think that's how you kill units with rockets in this game. Doesn't look like we're going to get an angle on him, so we're just going to go fire away the rockets. Oh, no, that's exactly how you do it. Yeah, no, we got a side hit on him, and that, that's a kill. Hellcat on the right getting absolutely annihilated. Pilot injured. Oh, he's not going to feel so hot in a second. He's getting just obliterated by 105 millimeter and 88 millimeter shells. Surprisingly, he's not dead. Lost a friendly plane back there. Not one of mine, but... Okay, is that you to, I guess, this? Or maybe just fire at will, really, who cares? My boat was that soon? No, they actually, they actually made it. They are losing in a little bit. This is actually going pretty well, I think. Recon, get an MEK over here, and maybe we can get another recon in this left. Uh, get some Maro here in the forest, backed up by a Führer. It's all pretty close to each other, so I'm thinking that should do uh, the job. Oh, I lied. We did look, we lost a plane. We lost a Ju-88 earlier. Yep. Never mind. This isn't going to be a nope. I'm going to indirectly or indirectly uncall you in again, but that's fine. More Opal Blitzes, please. I want to take a look at their stats after this game to see if 
Setting them to fire at will is worth it or not. I think they might work a pretty decent job that way. Okay, we have a bunch of infantry that's just, oh my god, sitting around. That's awesome. This is our forest of dreams back here. Pack 43 is, show, is pushed up. We lost one Sturmgeschütz. I wonder what hit it. Maybe a flank shot. Maybe a flank shot from a... No, I don't know actually what hit it. But these are just regular M4As. Unless an Italian pack. Okay, that's gonna be a kill. Oh, they're like, it's like fully turned to the side. But I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's trying to shoot that Sherman. Okay, that's fine. They're both trying to shoot that Sherman. Nice kill. And now they're gonna blast the Sherman eventually. Yeah, that can't hold forever. Okay. I wonder if we can do this. Let's just do a massive air raid. Might be worth trying. Plane. Oh, here comes all the units. Check it. Oh, we knocked out a... Yeah, actually, I don't know if we killed it or the pack killed it. Ah, we lost an Opa Blitz. Okay. Get you out. We're gonna have to hide over here because I don't want to push it after, until my artillery hits, you know? Because we're bombarding that here in a second. Stugs are still alive. Uh, maybe we'll push you. Actually, can we get a different leader? Do I have any leaders left? I don't think so. Push you here, push you there. Okay, I've lost some guns. I mean, it happens. I think there's the one over here somewhere. Okay, shoot the damn logistics truck or something, dude. Like, that truck can't make it around here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, there's the artillery. Now we wait for the all clear on this mountain ridge and we're pushing. Okay, that was a little close. Like, that's some insane danger close. 314 millimeter rounds, but like... Okay, here we go. We're pushing in. Lots of tanks. Cargo truck. Might be worth just hit, rocketing these Shermans if we can instead, however. Anti-tank. One of these pack guns up here. Rockets out. Oh, that's a lot of fire coming in. It's not even dead, and that Fock Wolf is not going to feel so good. Okay, so both of my Beobachtung's planes are just out of out of strikes now, which is fine because they cost a ton of damage. I think that might have been some of my most effective striking I've ever done in this game. The question is, can we run up on these guys before? Oh, we gotta get closer, 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 closer. Ready for the ready for the bombs, the Molotov cocktails. Oh, they're pinned down. Oh, they got a bunch of ladder. Oh, that was brutal. Those was MEK are great, but they're getting a... Re oh, they got a return grenade. Okay. Get you up on this ridge. Ah, okay, we're losing some infantry back there. Hit it with the rockets. Come on, come on. Oh, so much lag over there. No, that was okay. That was okay. Okay, let's get this gun out. And then I wonder if he can engage those Shermans or not. Am I being artillery back? I don't think so. Up a blitz. Yep. Damn, the amount of... Wow, another plane down. We've lost. Oh, that's not good. That might have been some off-map. I don't know what that was. Big hits, though. Big bombs. Ooh, good hit on that. See that here. Another plane left. We have another 105 we could call in. It's, it's 
come like in the middle here, maybe even. Oh, this town's not doing so hot, is it? That just means to me... We gotta get some infantry up in that. Get another pack. Maybe two of these smaller... Well, I don't know. We're, we're okay here. I mean, these guys aren't doing so hot. Pull them back a little bit. Okay. Plane. Oh, another Marauder down. I mean, they're just getting out annihilated right now. This is not going bad. I mean, the f battle's pretty even. We're only like, what, two flags ahead of them. Or one flag. Yeah, we have one more flag. Because when, well, when we lose one, when we lose one, they gain one. So we're literally one flag ahead. We killed another Sherman, it looks like. I gotta kill this uh, logistics truck. That's probably a very effective uh, unit to take out with my uh, Panzer Blitz. I know it's not necessarily the most interesting unit to take out. It'd be better to take out a Sherman. Okay, that's annoying. I'm gonna get you out of there before you get destroyed. How are these guys not shooting back? I thought they could, they can only they they cannot be seen outside of this circle, so they should be fine where they are. Okay, push, 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 push. Get out! Come on! Bombing mission. Oh, we're being just destroyed in this town. Oh, this is a massacre. This J U eighty eight can pro. Oh, Don Donier, sorry, can probably get a good bomb. Oh, we did lost another Donier earlier too, because we only have one left. That's gonna be a good bombing run here, I think, though. On that. Oh, perfect. Good. It's good stuff. Okay, now oh, we got African commandos over here. This is brutal. Okay. Get some special uh, close quarters infantry. As well as some Brandenburger for this middle right hill. Oh, damn. Okay, now we're getting. Now we're pulling some flags ahead. I don't know how. Plane throwers. What's the range on those guys? Okay, only 100 meters. That's what I thought. They did get two of them, though. Okay, this is a good punch in their left. This has been a really good punch. Oh, Sturmgeschutz is going to get outranged. Well, maybe not outranged, but it's going to be... Ooh, just watch out. What's the range on the 1750? Okay, we could take, take this on, I think. It's a three-star Sturmgeschutz versus a zero-star... Uh, what is it again? A wolf? Another? No, yeah, Wolverine, right? Yeah. Ooh, that's a bounce. How are we bouncing on a Wolverine? We're bouncing again. We just knocked out an enemy Marauder. That's gonna be a kill at some point. Nice, perfect. All the man on deck. That's funny because there's definitely no one to be on deck. This is we're not in the we're not on a boat, sir. Okay. Get into town, boys. This ridge right here is brutal. Okay, we're not killing those guys, apparently. My infantry is... Oh, these Italians are doing a good job of pushing in here, though. Thing is, I don't have any anti-tank units left, which is an issue because they have a bunch of Shermans over here. Could attempt to hit them with air strikes, but I'm gonna have to target that like half track because that alone is the. I don't have any armor to engage it with right now.
Okay, it's not a very... It's kind of an expensive way to kill them. Oh, well, and we've got a Sherman as well. That was worth it. Okay, we're bringing up the big boys here. I want this flag back. And it's going to cost me a ton of young German and Italian lives, but... Oh, there goes the church. You just saw that collapse. Come on, push up. Brandenburger, Raider Infantry. Look at their weapons. MG-42s, G-43s, Triple Star Vet. Oh, it's a little anti-tank gun. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to get massacred. Yes. Let's go. Brandenburger supported. Oh, look, there's... Um, Resistance fighters. This rich is gonna to belong to Germany once again, boys. Allegedly. Oh, half track. Just below the ridge. Oh, we got that we got that side back. Pushed into the corner. I love this 105. Uh, push you to this corner here. Oh, there goes another plane. Kill a P-47. This is going really well. Oh, uh, maybe we can push you more to the middle here. I'm still, I'm still wondering how good these artillery are doing. Oh, we need more ammo for these guys. One oh five. Oh, that was such a long shell. Shot an enemy plane down. That's good. Okay. Well, we've got the town. Well, it's really what's left of it. This right hill is just a massacre. Can bring an NR I can bring an AT gun to this ridge here, I think. Anything? This half track is worth targeting, I think. If the. What is that? Oh, it's a 75 mil. It's gonna kill it. Yeah, there you go. Or I killed it. Whoever, whoever killed it doesn't matter. Oh, we're just running over these people. Get in the house. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're not in a good spot. Oh, there's not many. There's not much anti air left on this middle. Can we bomb this? Oh, we got some surrendering. There's just not much. We just, just destroyed this part of the map, man. Oh my god. Come on, there comes my Donier. Enemy P-47. Just dead. Oh, there, there's some AA. There's not a lot. There's definitely some. Let's see if we can hit this bow force. It should use the rockets. Oh no, it's too far. It's too close to do a turn on it. This is all being up. Okay, we've lost some planes. We lost. Oh, we lost that Donier there. That sucks. The Donier that went for this. I don't know if it dropped its bombs or not. Maybe it didn't. But we have, I think, got a very well deserved and hard earned victory here in uh, just about two minutes and I think that this was probably one of my most favorite battles ever like this was a really good battle brutal battle too uh, but really good oh we lost a st oh no we lost a Stufut or the Hellcat with Ra oh man Hellcat killed me Switch these two guys around. What's the stop button? E, I think? Yeah, it is E. I remember that correctly. Here's some more boat bazatsung. 
Not that it really matters, because we have just annihilated them here. I mean, this is just the pleasantries of uh, being the one who wins. Um, we've got this covered here. I don't see a point in losing any more aircraft. I think we only lost a couple. It's not the worst I've ever done. I've, I've definitely lost more aircraft before. Si, signore. How many people are left in your squad? One. I think you maybe not want to push ahead too crazy. E-47, and it dropped its bombs. Oh, that hurts. Should get shot down, though. Like, really should. Or it's not. I got really lucky. Oh, left Pelcat with more heat rockets. This time, you're not getting away, are you? Oh, no, maybe it is. That, was, that twin, that Flaxwilling is is good. I don't know how many. I kind of want to take a look and see how many certain units have killed, especially some of those 105s, the Flaxwilling. Uh, can we... Eh, I think we're... This is going to be it, I think. I mean, there's, there's really not much I can do. We can push these AT guns that are also tiny howitzers up a little bit. We've got this ridge covered. I think we just knocked out their all their Shermans that I was a little... Oh, they just knocked that out with a... 37 now? Well, who's going to win this? The triple vet stug? Or the Wolverine? Ooh, that's not good. That's a hit. Return fire. Oh, God. Okay, thank God my guy was a little bit more on the ball than that guy was. I would have been very surprised if he lost that, in, in all honesty, though. I wonder how... Oh, we lost a Pack 43. Oh, that might have been artillery then. Oh, it's a how 105 howitzer. Can we hit that with our rockets before the game's over? See, I don't really know how much damage they will do. It does say... Uh, not very... a lot. I don't know if it's even going to get to it. Oh, yes! Got some extra points. Got to, you know... Make that look good. It's a minor victory. I'll take it. Okay, let's take a look. 8,000. So we got a 4 to 1 KD, basically. And we got to take a look here at our kills. So sharpshoots, okay, got so many. Okay, sidecars can be killed by these sharpshoots. That's good to know. We, those guys were hard to deal with because they have that machine gun on initially. This SIG did an amazing job, but apparently even killed a Stewart. And then well, this 100 millimeter. Oh, these 100 millimeters did some work. I mean, not great, but these were the artilleries. Uh, this Ponziega RSO did okay. Yeah, good. Killed an ace here. The other 100mm did some stuff. So that was just, I think, from me having them on fire at will. This other SIG did really good. So the SIGs were amazing buys for me in this battle. Considering the enemy doesn't have any super heavy uh, to to bring into the battle. Um, some of these Italian light guns. The Vlaxwilling actually did kill three planes. No, wait. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. One, two, three, four. It killed six planes. That's actually a pretty good investment. Uh, sharpshoots killed. Oh, sharpshoots killed two BIMP. Killed two Stewarts. Other flak the Flunder flak Vierlings killed three planes. Other flak Vierling killed another six planes. That's a lot of where our points come from. But now look at the coastal gun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen units, including a command unit, which is great. A bunch of infantry, even some armor. Howitzer. That's pretty good. Stug knocking out four Shermans. What a legend. Other Stug, or Stug, uh, knocking out three Shermans and a Wolverine. 105, not just killing planes and also killing a, a Sherman and some infantry. It's very cinematic and very epic. Other Coastal Gun, a little less effective. <laughs> I mean, it still killed three Shermans and a bunch of infantry. And an IT gun, this pack, it's a shame it died at the end, but it killed four Shermans as well. Funko Wolves, you know, a couple Shermans here, a couple Shermans there. This little, oh, the 152 killed a, an M4 Sherman somehow. This Studem shoots also killing uh, two Wolverines and some Shermans. I mean, this was a battle that was, you can see some units just were absolutely insane, but mostly the Studem Geschutzes, the Coastal Guns, uh, and then these SIGs did an amazing job. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to see you guys in the next one. Cheers.